How's it going, Ding Dongs? Here we have my new LFA dash that I just created. Let me walk you through the process and how I created this whole thing because it's pretty sick. First step with any of my 3D printing projects is 3D scanning. I started with the dash, then I did the cluster. In case you're wondering why the cluster is all white, it's sprayed with this developer spray. Then I bring the scans into Maya, line them up as best as I can. That's the cluster, that's the dash surround. And then here is the whole bracket system. I also designed a fan shroud, but I'm not gonna use it right now because it's winter. So we got all the brackets, every single piece. That's the clamshell for the tablet, that holds it together. And then this is the surrounding pieces. All right, so we're back in my freezing ass garage. It's currently like 15 degrees outside and I'm cold as hell right now. Once everything's done printing, put it all together. It's pretty simple. So we got two pieces, two halves right here to hold the tablet in place. And I got four brackets. These brackets line up exactly with uh, original mounting spots for the dash. So you see that it's a little offset. These are not the same. Every single bracket is different. None of them are the same. And then we got this piece. That is six pieces actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. And those are melted together. Look at that, I have a new phone and I can film up close finally. So those I melt together. This is still a work in progress. I still wanna make things a little differently. For example, I don't like the finish. And it broke. That's all the design stuff. Now let me show you all of the electronics software side of this whole project because it's pretty complex. We're back in the car. Hopefully my laptop doesn't die again because that was weird last time. In the Link ECU, we're gonna go to ECU controls and can setup. And then for one of your channels, I have it on channel three because channel two is my PDM. So on channel three, you just select dash two pro drop down menu of stuff, so you collect, connect Dash 2 Pro. 20 hertz is fine, and then you set your ID to 1000, and that's it. So Dash 2 Pro already has the stream fully populated, so you see every frame has all the parameters that we're gonna need already populated in here, so we don't have to set up anything. All right, so now we're on the tablet. This is a Galaxy Tab A7 Lite or something like that. Pretty cheap tablet, it's only like 120 bucks, but it works great. So this is an app called Real Dash. We go into the garage and in here, I'll show you how to set up a new connection. So we're gonna go to adapters, CAN and LIN. I'm using a CAN analyzer type two and it's going to be connected through serial USB. The adapter is going to show up here and then once the adapter shows up you're going to select it and you're going to be greeted with this screen. In this screen you're going to download this file which I'll have in the description. This is the file that sets up all those frames that we saw on the on the laptop so that's what this is going to work. Your CAN also has to be set to the same speed as your ECU so my ECU is set to 500 kilobits. We're going to set this as the same one so if this was connected right now to the car we could go into CAN monitor and we could see all of the CAN data happening in there. It's not connected right now, so we're not gonna see it. How do we connect this to the ECU? Let me show you. 
So I was telling you about those can analyzers. That's what this is. So this can analyzer is connected to the can cables in the ECU. That's what these are. So my can network is those yellow and green wires. And it runs all throughout the car. So it's got can to the ECU. There's can to this and can to the PDM. All those things are able to communicate with each other if you prop set them up properly. Then I have this little USB-C hub. So this USB-C hub allows me to charge the tablet and still connect to this because there's a problem with regular OTG devices or OTG plugs. So if you get like a regular little USB-C OTG plug, what happens is the tablet doesn't charge when it's plugged into this. It's really annoying. It's a super annoying little thing. I don't know, I guess it's just like a thing that manufacturers do, but it's really annoying. So there's this company, I'll have it in the description. They make these little hubby things. This one's I modified a little bit because it was still draining the battery when it was plugged in. I, fig I figured it out. They have another one that I'm gonna purchase after probably the summer or something, because right now I just turned the tablet off. They have another one that allows you to charge the tablet and connect to this, and then when you turn the car off, this doesn't drain the tablet because right now mine drains the tablet battery, so I have to turn the tablet off. That's why I have the little button access here. See that? I designed the little hole here so I could turn the tablet off easily. That's basically it. Let me show you how I designed the dash. So if we go back on the tablet, you'll see we have this beautiful LFA dash, and actually, I just bought it. So if you go to premium and you scroll down there it is screamer so I bought it then I got the same app real dash on my PC because it's a lot easier to edit and I just edited a bunch of stuff so it used to move side to side I didn't really need that function because it would be like your music over here and then the map and stuff so I didn't really need any of that stuff when you would move it the letters and text that I'm using here that are very important to me they would shrink back to their original size so just got rid of that completely still able to go into sport mode or whatever they call it I just have a very basic parameters of what I need so we have voltage battery voltage throttle position Lambda, which is air fuel ratio, coolant temperature, and intake temperature. I also have a boost gauge here. Obviously that's not working right now because, I mean, it is measuring map, but I never pull more than, or less than negative 15 PSI, so it never actually shows up. I could change the values of this. I don't really care. So this will be, hint, hint, I'm going turbo eventually. So it's pretty easy to modify. You just go into edit, and then here's all your little things, so I got coolant here, that's the coolant gauge, yeah, basically you just select stuff, change it. It's a lot easier on the computer, because the screen's not so tiny. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You guys let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed that you'd like to know. Obviously I'll explain it. I think this is like a great addition to the car, because you got digital gauges, everything is super fast because it's all on the CAN network, so you don't have to worry about any sort of lag or anything, as you saw when I was uh, driving and blipping the throttle. It just works perfectly, so. If you guys are interested in the model for this, I am gonna have it on my website. You guys can download the model. I'm not gonna sell this as a print that I make. It doesn't like, it doesn't fit perfectly, but if you want, you can have the model. So I'll sell the model for like five or 10 bucks or something, I don't know, we'll see. I still have to make some modifications to it. It's not perfect. I wanna make it fit a little bit better. Some couple of little things you saw when I dropped it, it just fell to pieces because right now it's just literally melted together with a soldering iron along the seams, and that's not enough. I want to put screws through the sides of it so that it actually holds together without the melting of it. I'm also going to sand it, paint it, do it, make it all nice so it'll look a lot better. Let me know if you guys are interested. I'll uh, put the files up on the website. I don't know if you can tell, but this video is filmed on a new device. It's actually my phone. So I got a OnePlus 9 Pro and it's got autofocus. So no more blurry videos. Everything's gonna be in focus now. It's freaking awesome. I'm super happy with it. And it can do 4K 120. So when drifting footage is just gonna look fucking incredible, dude. 4K slow-mo, it's insane. It is officially winter in Chicago. It is like 15 degrees today. It is cold as shit. I'm freezing my ass off. Good thing I got this ding-dong drift hoodie to keep me warm. If you guys saw the poll on Instagram, 
Next video is gonna be our SC400 is reliable. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have a nice little list of all the problems that these cars go through and how to fix them basically, so. All right, Ding Dongs, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. America, America, America. Do you have your